A deadly accident in Youngstown keeping investigators busy tonight. It could be a while before we know all the victims' names from yesterday's crash near the Trumbull County line. Today, 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti learned local police are now hoping authorities in Tennessee can help them identify two of the three victims. He has the brand new details. As debris and chalk lines can be found at the scene today, investigators are still working to identify the victims from Tuesday's fatal crash, and they are beginning to piece together what happened. We have spoken to the surviving passenger. Um, he has given us a statement. Although police are still withholding the names of anyone involved, Elizabeth Barthany of Hubbard told us yesterday she knew the two people in this white Jeep. I knew I had a gut feeling it was mine. Come around to the other side and seeing the license plate, and I knew it was my car. Barthany says Mark Blackburn and Tim Ward were in the SUV and that she had loaned it to Blackburn to drive down to West Virginia. I'm not 100% sure that that is the correct person yet. But investigators admit identifying the man and woman in the green Honda may take even longer. It's just proving problematic. Um, from due to the nature of injuries and lack of some uh, identifying information. Police do confirm they believe the victims in the Honda are from Tennessee, but officials add the collision left them essentially unrecognizable. Carefully, uh, methodically, and painstakingly, we will uh, identify the remains. Police believe the Jeep was northbound at high speed when the driver suddenly swerved to avoid another car in its lane colliding with the Honda and rolling over. Although there are no visible skid marks, a gouge in the asphalt shows where the crash occurred. In the meantime, toxicology tests could reveal whether any of the victims had drugs or alcohol in their systems at the time. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.